What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today and today we're going to look at how to use context menu strip in your program. So let's get started. So before we actually get into the coding part, let me kind of explain what the context menu strip does. So it basically does a event handler when user click a right click button, okay? So for example, if you go onto your solutions explorer and if you right click on any place, you will see this bunch of options pop up here, right? So this is called a context menu strip. So basically we can use this inside of our program as well. How cool is that? <laughs> So first I'm going to show you like the basic stuff you can do with context menu strip and after that I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with this context menu strip, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to add a tool called context menu strip. So you can go to your toolbox section here and just type in context menu strip then you'll see that this thing pops up so just click that and drop it on your form. And if you do, you'll see this similar setting to a menu strip item, but it's a little bit different. So you'll see this thing pop up here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add some text inside of this text properties. Okay, for example, let's do something like uh, show message. And then the second one, let's do something like exit. Okay, but you can choose whatever you want to do here. So basically, if I make that and then if I hit the outside of the form, notice the context menu strip disappears, right? It's because this is not an actual uh, menu explorer. It only shows up when you right click on your form. So that's why it's not going to show up on the screen yet. So if you want to change the text or if you want to add a event, you have to click this context menu strip here and then double click on whatever the item you want to add event to. So for example, let's say something like message box dot show and double quotes. Let's put something like what? You clicked this or whatever. And then let's go into our uh, CS uh, design form. We're going to double click on exit as well. And here we want to do something like application dot exit. Okay, this will basically close the application. So let's test this out. So hit start and there's our program here. Notice nothing pops up. Okay, but there's one error though. If you right click on your form, nothing's going to happen, right? Basically, we actually have to implement our context menu strip into form one. So it will basically activate this context menu strip in form one. So let's go to your property section for your form one and then go down to behavior tag and if you go down to behavior tag you will see that there's menu called context menu strip and notice by default it says none but what we want to do is we want to change that to our context menu strip so if you click that and then if you hit start here now I can right click on my program so if I hit show message it's gonna show message here and if I click exit it's gonna exit out of that thing Nice. So you can do a bunch of cool stuff with it. So now that we are done with basic stuff, let's look into more detailed and more cooler stuff, okay? So in this example, I'm going to use a button. So let's drag and drop our button, okay? And you can change the size a bit here. And then we're going to add a right click event to this button as well. So let's add another context menu strip from the toolbox just t click that there and then drag and drop to a screen and then I'm going to do something like a change color okay if I can type change color and after you do that we can actually uh, go further into and then specify what kind of color we want to change let's say we want to change a font color and let's say we want to change background color Okay, so now that we build everything, we have to implement this contact menu strip into our button, right? So let's click on our button and then we're going to go down to behavior tag here. And then on your context menu strip, choose the second one that we just added. Okay, so now it's implemented. But 
we didn't add any event so let's click on the second one and then click change color and double click on your font then it will generate this method here but we also want to change the background color so let's click that as well so it will generate this method as well so now we have two methods to play with so now I'm going to show you how to do this so we're going to create this thing called color dialog so basically it works just like a file dialog that we went over in the previous video but it lets users to choose colors so let's say let's name it something like CD and then new color dialog parentheses semicolon and after that we have to put a if loop if loop saying CD dot show dialog okay and if it turns out to be OK, so we have to say dialog result dot OK, meaning it went fine. Then we can add a color to our button. So for example, we're changing the color of the font. We have to grab our button object that we created. And you will see that our button object name is button one. So we have to bring that there and say something like button one dot for color equals cd dot color so basically it will grab whatever the color from the color dialog and it will set the font color to that cd color and make sure you do for color not font color okay and we're going to go into background strip menu item and we're basically going to do exact same thing so let's copy and paste this here but we're going to change a little bit instead of for color we're going to say something like back color so notice we have two almost identical method so we're done so let's test this out hit start so here's our program here so if we right click on outside it will show dialog and um, if we right click on our button notice different context menu strip pops up we can change the color so let's change the color of the font to something I don't know red Okay, so now my font color is red. So now let's change the background color of this button. So right click on it, change color, background, and we can change to something like green. I don't think it's a good combination, but there you go. So you can do a bunch of cool stuff with this context menu strip if you add cool uh, events in it. So basically that's it for this tutorial here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials in the future, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave questions on the comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.